Hey guys, today I'm going to go over Coursera, my first ever Coursera video. So today we will go over IBM Data Analyst versus Google Data Analytics at Coursera. For those who don't, don't know what Coursera is, it is a platform with a lot of courses that can help you uh, get a job, help you obtain the skills that you need for a job, and it gives you a professional certificate each time you complete a course, which you can put on your resume and it will automatically go on your LinkedIn. So it's basically integrated with LinkedIn and you can put it on there. You know, these are very in-depth courses that help you a lot. Uh, you can sign up for each course individually, or you can pay Coursera, uh, their Coursera pro plan, which I believe is three or $400 a, a year. Um, or you can pay, like I said, individually for each course. But today we're going to go over two programs. This will be geared uh, to my data watchers, um, the ones that watch the data analyst WGU video and probably a lot more new watchers that will come from all over YouTube. So which one do you think is a great program? I will go in depth in depth right now and show you which program is better in my opinion, but they are both fantastic programs. So Google Data Analytics is a little more popular, but I prefer the IBM Data Analyst program. Why do I prefer it? Mostly because it goes over Python instead of R. And I also feel like it's a little more application based, whereas the Google one is also application based, but it's also a little more theory based. And when it comes to these certificates, and courses, I obviously prefer something that's more application based, you know, applied based. Like theory is something that you learn in school in your bachelor degree. You don't necessarily want to, you know, learn application. Uh, I'm sorry, learn theory outside of school, right? You are going on places like Coursera to learn the hard skills to apply to your job. And I believe the IBM uh, program does it a little bit better than the Google one, but they are still both terrific programs. Guys, we are in my browser here, and this is the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate course from Coursera. So this course is very well known. It might just be the most well-known program on Coursera, but like I said, I prefer the IBM one, but they're both terrific programs. This one has a 4.8 out of 5, 132,000 reviews. It's a lot of reviews. So like I said, you get a LinkedIn shareable certificate, slap that on your LinkedIn, very valuable. You know, it will, it can't hurt your resume. It can only help your resume. And if somebody sees this on your resume and you, have, you already have like a tech degree or business degree, and then you have this certificate on there as well. It looks really, really good and could help you land a job. So let's see here. Foundations, data, data everywhere. So these are all mini courses inside of the main course. So foundations and data. You have asked questions to make data driven decisions, prepare data for exploration, process data from dirty to clean, which sounds pretty useful analyze data to answer questions, share data through the art of visualization, data analysis with R programming and not Python, and then Google Data Analytics Capstone. So, so this is all pretty straightforward. You know, I have dived deep into a couple of these. And like I said, it is a little bit of theory until you get further into the program. So let's see. I will open these up for you and you can see what's actually going to be in here. So make data driven decisions, spreadsheet magic, which sounds pretty useful actually. And prepare data for exploration, data types and structures. That's very useful. Data responsibility, database essentials, organize and protect data. So this looks like a pretty uh, important module. Uh, for this Google certification here. Um, analyst answer questions, share data through the art of visualization, 
So this one is probably important. Yeah, visualize data. I'm assuming that'll teach you like, you know, some type of a uh, Excel or Power BI. Um, and you have table LU, which is very important actually. Craft data stories. So the Google Data Analytics is still a terrific program. It's really, really good, guys. Um, it's very good. This will definitely help you become a data analyst. It'll help you learn the skills, the hard skills to become a data analyst. It's a very, very good program. So data analyst with our programming, you know, you're going to learn our studio, you know, working in R, how R works, um, and a very common language used in data analytics is R programming. The main two are R and Python. So I think we have gone through this one enough here. And we're going to go through the IBM data analyst one. So the IBM one rated 4.7 with 17,000 reviews. And you also get a shareable certificate. And you'll also get a paper certificate as well if you want one. Um, so introduction to data analytics, Excel basics for data anal analysis, data visualization with dashboards with Excel and Cognos, Python for data science, AI and development, very important right there, Python project for data science, databases and SQL for data science with Python, data analysis with Python, data visualization with Python. I just love the modules on this one way more than the Google one. Um, like this one actually is just, I feel like much more applica uh, applicable and just much more hard skills that you will learn. You know, this is like all the things you search for when you wanna learn data analytics, like this whole series, you know, all of these modules. You know, you wanna learn Excel, you want to learn Python, you know, you want to learn visualization, you definitely have to learn SQL, you know, so this is just a really, really good uh, certificate, a very good course. Like I said, if I was going to learn to be a data analyst, and I wanted some kind of certificate on my resume, I would pick this program. You know, let's, uh, let's dive a little deeper into it, like I said. So introduction to data analytics. You got the data ecosystem, gathering and wrangling data. This is very important right here. Mining and visualizing data, that's also really important. Um, Excel basics for data analysts. Analysis, sorry. Getting started with using Excel spreadsheets, cleaning and wrangling data using spreadsheets. And I like that this takes in spreadsheets like so much because spreadsheets are really going to be uh, a crucial part of how you analyze data. You know, you're going to sort them through spreadsheets first and spreadsheets is a big part of being a data analyst, obviously. Um, so let's see here. Python for data science, AI and development. That sounds like extremely interesting, actually. And like I said, I much prefer Python over R for being a data analyst and learning how to uh, be a data analyst. And the reason for that is I feel like Python just fits it much better. Um, I feel like it's a better language than R. There are some people out there that will massively disagree with that. And that is fine. But uh, let's see here. Python basics, Python data structures, Python on programming fundamentals, working with data in Python. So this is not enough to learn Python, but I will go over in another video, what is the best way to learn Python? And I will have that up probably, I don't know, in the next two or three weeks for sure. And that will go over where can you learn Python the best? You know, we're at on Coursera, can you learn it? And, you know, I will find like the best teacher for you and the best course that will actually just make you understand it. So, but like I said, this Python for data science right here, AI and development. So let's go back up here 
and it says four months at 10 hours a week. So usually these are exaggerated. They just want you on the site as much as possible. But as long as you have time, like you should be able to get this thing done in like a month or a month and a half. I mean, and if, just like WGU, if you have a lot of time, you know, you can probably get this done in two to two and a half weeks if you really, really, really push it. So all of these Coursera programs are hackable. You can do them much quicker than advertised if you have the time to put into it. So this is suggested 10 hours a week. So if you got like seven hours a day rolling around, like you can obviously do this extremely fast and it does just make sure you pay attention. Like I don't advise like skimming too much. Uh, like when it comes to getting a degree, you really are just mostly getting the paper. But when it comes to learning hard skills from places like Coursera, the point is to actually learn the information so you have the hard skills. So, you know, what you didn't learn in your bachelor degree, you're going to learn on Coursera and other websites. So you can actually digest those hard skills. Whereas WGU, you know, they don't necessarily teach that well regarding hard skills. Plus, you know, getting a bachelor degree is really expensive. So you don't want to spend too much time in that school and you want to explore cheaper options to learn hard skills such as Coursera. So that is the smart way to do it. Um, but yeah, if you want an IBM data analyst cer certification, this is a really, really good uh, program. So I like it a lot. It has some, a lot of good stuff in it. You know, data anal analysis with Python, um, data wrangling, obviously very important model development, model evaluation and refinement. Like this is all very, very good. Like I might, I have not taken this, but I might. I might take this data analytics with Python from IBM because it very much intrigues me. But the, the Google one is very good as well. Both are great, you can't go wrong with either. So if you want to become a data analyst, you know, you've done a degree, a bachelor degree in something, um, and you really want to be working in data and you don't know where to start, then do this uh, certificate, do this course. Um, so if you do the WGU data analytics bachelor degree, probably don't need this, but it still would look good on your resume. If you did any other degree outside of data analytics, then you probably do need these hard skills if you want to be a data analyst. So I highly recommend you take this course if being a data analyst and eventually a data engineer is your goal. You know, so you want to start off as a data analyst before working your way to a data engineer at some point. So like I said, data analyst is a great job, absolutely phenomenal job. It's growing and growing. Uh, it's grown a lot in the past three to four years and I think it's going to keep growing. Data is a huge field that will definitely keep growing um, and there's gonna be a lot of jobs. Uh, so I, I wish you guys the absolute best of luck. I really like both of these programs a lot. I like the IBM one a little better. I will have both programs in my description if you wanna click and go straight to them. Um, also to Coursera Pro as well you guys the absolute best of luck you can become a data analyst you can work in data you can eventually become a data engineer you can eventually become a data architect you control your own destiny you just have to learn the hard skills and yes you likely do need a college degree you know, there's a lot of people out there like hey you know buy this and you won't need a college degree fact of the matter is to get past human resources you likely need a college degree but it can be in any major anything, especially if it's business or tech. So just remember guys, you are in control of your own life, your own destiny. Learn the hard skills, you know, be creative with your resume, put a project on there, uh, and just do what you can to get a job. There's many jobs out there. You have to stand out from all the candidates. You can get an internship. There's many possible avenues for you. So I believe in you guys. If you have any questions or comments, comment down below. Just remember, 
you can do this.